So the story goes like this. Dear Carrie, I'm sorry. I know those aren't the first words you want to hear from your future husband, but I'm going to talk about the day before we got engaged. Oh, good. <laughs> a day I know you don't like to think about, a day that scared you, and a day that you would rather forget. But to me, that eventful day meant so much more than what was on the surface. It wasn't until the last year and a half or so when I really got to know Chris, so I've learned to appreciate so many of the qualities that I know Carrie loves and sees in Chris. Chris is generous, he's thoughtful, he's frustratingly intelligent, and he loves animals. For those of you that don't know Christopher, he is a very detailed oriented guy. So instead of having a bachelor party, he had something called a pre-wedding bash, day one. Hit a couple hundred golf balls at a place called Top Golf. Lots of fun, great time. That wasn't enough though for Chris. So he dragged the wedding party and others to a shooting range, go-kart racing, large Italian dinner, watch Star Wars, Ninja Warrior Studio, paintball. So that was the pre-wedding bash. Being the guy that I am that plans from A to Z, I was planning this really grand trip to propose to Carrie. We went up to a really pretty restaurant up high up on the mountain. I started to get dizzy, I started to get hazy. It turned out that Chris was really affected by the altitude up there. Oh no. And um, he ended up basically passing out. The worst day of my life. I'm breaking in, I'm breaking locks. I'm climbing up your tower cause you won't let me in. I couldn't move. I couldn't think straight. And I couldn't breathe. It was actually really... Sorry. <laughs> it was really scary. This was the first time in my life that I thought there was a good chance that this could be my last night. When that thought entered my mind, it was instantly replaced with thoughts of caring and how much I love her, how much she means to me, and how much this would suck if I left this world without marrying this lady. I ended up being in a hospital, and Carrie said, whatever you have planned for tomorrow, you should probably cancel. But that was the day that I was gonna propose to her, so that wasn't an option. Part of his proposal the next day, he said, you know, when I was lying there last night, I just thought, what if I never got the chance to tell her how I really feel? Let your walls come down. Let your walls come down. Let your walls come down for me. Let your walls come down. Let your walls come down. Let your walls come down for me. Dear Chris, I've been looking forward to this day for a long time. Before we were together, I used to imagine my life with a perfect man for me. And I found that man and much more in you. Our day has finally arrived. As we look towards this next chapter in our lives, Let's keep up the great times. This is going to be fun. Let's get married with love, your soon to be ex fiance, <laughs> Christopher Minville. <laughs> oh, fast you're lurking out and never giving in. You think it's worth the pain. I already have so many fun, joyful memories we've we made together. So and I cannot wait to make more as we move forward together as husband and wife. You're the one I see by my side, forever and always. It will be with full confidence that I take my vows today and I'm doing the right thing. I cannot wait to see you at the end of the aisle today for the full and happy heart of your bride, Carrie. Let your walls come down Let your walls come down Let your
our freshman year writing workshop class, and we became friends studying during late nights at IHOP, gardening, and taking photos of Christmas lights together. Carrie, you are an amazing person. I didn't realize this right away, but I realized it soon after, and I still do, day after day. I love how thoughtful you are, your sense of humor, the way you care about others, your quick wit and your glass half full spirit. And I will treat you like a queen. I will treat you like a queen. I will give you everything, everything. I promise to protect and ward you from attackers, like whether they be man, beast, or menace and insect. I promise to be honest and faithful through good times and bad. I promise to replenish your stock of chips and salsa whenever it runs low. I promise to tell you I love you every single day. You are beautiful, thoughtful, caring, and simply everything wonderful to me. Carrie, I promise to stay by your side and to be honest and faithful through good times and bad. I promise to cherish our time together and keep life exciting through smiles, laughter, and joy. Carrie, my brother loves you so much. He will continue learning about you and loving you for the rest of his life. And Carrie, your everlasting love has made my brother whole. The best man that I could ever imagine he could ever be. What God has joined together, let no one separate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Chris and Carrie Booth. You know, there's a saying that goes that best friends are the only family you get to choose. Well, I guess I got really lucky because God gave me Carrie as both my best friend and my sister. Carrie, you may not know it, but you've taught me to be the person I am today. I'm so proud that you're my sister and so honored that I get to be up here telling the world how lucky this guy is that he has you, my wonderful, beautiful sister. I love you. Today, in front of our friends and family, I take you, Chris, to be my husband. In front of our friends and family, I take you, Carrie, to be my wife, knowing without doubt that our lives together are more, more meaningful, meaningful than they are apart. apart. I vow to share my life with you, to, to love, love you without, without reservation, reservation, to respect and appreciate you 
to never take our time for granted and to make our family my first priority and to always continue to grow our love. Would you lie with me and just forget the world?